Hi, everybody. Extreme close up. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. I hope I've got the settings all correct. I am back at my home streaming. So hopefully we'll have perfect internet today. Welcome, everybody. I'm kind of looking at the chat really quick. Like, if you haven't entered the raffle, please do so now. You're going to end up winning some junk bucks. And if you didn't know, junk bucks are earned while you're watching. They're earned while you donate. And those bucks, when you get to 2,000, you can type exclamation point award and the 2,000 will be exchanged for a $10 coupon to my store. And I know Debbie has already used it. So congratulations on getting that done. <clears throat> Let's see, a couple of housekeeping things. If you are new to my stream, never been here before, I stream on Mondays at 3.45 p.m., Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Down in the bottom here where the gear is, you can change that speed if you're watching the replay to speed it up or slow it down. While you're here today, while you're chatting, we like to keep it upbeat and positive. So please no negativity, no... Uh, bashing other people no you know woe is me my life is over <laughs> while i have sympathy for you we're trying to make this an upbeat lifting your spirit type of a stream if you do think or want some good well wishes some prayers some thoughts head on over to the friendly junk journal people facebook group every month we set up a we care event where you can post the things that are going on in your life that you want to share and hopefully get some you know love and hugs and prayers about that so if you have any questions please make sure that you type it in all caps if I miss it I apologize because I am trying to watch what I'm making as well as trying to watch this chat and sometimes it gets away from me if it's going really fast just ask again please and hopefully one of the moderators will help and ask that question as well so if you see a wrench by someone's name in the chat that is a moderator so <clears throat> Let's see. We can hear me and see me. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sir, so kind. So, so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and if, if you are having technical issues, you may need to refresh or get out and come back in. Um, you are more than welcome to donate during this stream. When you donate, at the end, you are then eligible to win the journal and then right now I have a raffle going on so I'm going to change the screen here so if you haven't raffled already please do so does everybody see a big black box on their screen because for some reason I do and I don't know if it's I'm having technical come on let me check to see if it's showing up over here <laughs> I can't tell if this box is in my screen or not. Raffle. 
Can anybody tell me, do you see this big black box on your screen? I can't tell if it's going away. I just deleted it, so it'll be gone. Big black box. <laughs> okay, the big black box is gone. Where's Carrie? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Giovanna. You're so sweet. And, and I don't have, a, I can't say everything. <laughs> That's a black box. I got it fig I got it off there. I don't know why it was on there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I had a couple of messages from people uh, wanting to know how to do certain techniques. Um, and, of course, we're using the... Um, Royal Peacock Kit. Who's excited about the Royal Peacock Kit? If you haven't subscribed already, you need to do it really fast because I think I have 15 left outside of my normal subscription people. So if you're already subscribed, don't worry. If you want to add or change something, send me a message. You can do it through my webpage. You can do it through Facebook. You can send me an email. I prefer it through my webpage so that I can kind of keep it all together. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> um, the big, back, big, big black box has fled. <laughs> it's, it's no longer there. <laughs> um, let's see. Me, me, me. You're going to get it, Robin. Yay! So, if you didn't know, I have already in my shop, you do not have to buy the box, but I do have the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, the Royal Peacock set. And in this set, you're going to get Peacock Gold, Royal Green, uh, Peahen Pink, and let's see, what is that one? Blue Peacock, Purple Peacock, and Royal Gold. These are similar. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Um, and it, if the, that may be what I just deleted was the uh, little sheep. I wonder if that's why it wasn't working. Huh. Um, anyhow, these may be similar to other mists that I offer. They are different in that the mica powder that's in them is slightly different in each kit that I use. So maybe the color's close, but the mica is going to be different. Let's see here. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I guess we may not see the, um, the dancing sheep today. Sorry, because it was just a big black box and I couldn't figure out why and I deleted it. <laughs> So I'll have to get Jason to help me out. Uh, what else? Um, you can get the printed journal kit. It's $14.99. You get the printed planner kit. And I think it's $9.99. Or you can get those in digital format. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Um, so you can get those in printed format as well as digital format. The mini journal is a printed only. It's not in the digital downloads. And I believe it's $6.99. Um, let's see. Um, you like my nails? You like that? They're kind of pretty, huh? All right, well, let's kind of get starting here. <laughs> I know, I accidentally deleted it, but Jason will fix it if I beg him. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, here's what I've done. I went ahead and fussy cut all of the elements. So, I'm going to show you some of those. I've got some over here as well. Oh, and and I have a new paint system coming. I don't know. It's hard to see on camera, but can you tell like in the green at the top here how it kind of changes to purple? Well, each one of these colors, we're going to call them mermaid colors, um, that sheep was taken to slaughter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a new paint system that I'm going to have, and we're hoping to roll out a few more. That'll be, these are Tattered Angels, and when they come out, they'll have my name on them. So it's a project that I've been working with Tattered Angels with, and I think we finally got it. So I hope that you're going to love some of these new colors that are coming out. This is some of the fussy cut items that are part of the subscription box. And I see that I have a couple of tags. Um, 
when my print guy made my copy, he made an error. So I printed some of these on uh, cardstock myself. The ones that are more shiny, thank you so much, Robin, for your donation, um, are the ones that will come in the kit. These that are kind of dull, not shiny, that I printed myself to be able to finish this journal kit without having to wait on him. So this is the front side, and that's the back size. The paint is on your list to get. There's some beautiful colors. I'm really excited about them. And then here's some fussy cut items here as well. And I have a couple of rubber stamps that I'm going to show you today as well. Prior to the, um, you ate the sheep. <laughs> so funny. Um, this is a journal page that I made prior to the stream so that I could just show you it and move along. The side pieces here is a gel print that I made and it was eight and a half by 11. So I'll just grab another gel print. So it was eight and a half by 11 and it had the white space. So I just took some gold paint and went around the edges and then I cut it in half. And then I took this and folded that in half, and that's what made this pocket. I went ahead and I put some washi tape across the top and the bottom here to kind of just fill in that void. This was washi tape that was sent to me, so one of my friends that knew that I liked peacock stuff sent it to me. The tags, these tags are about, let's get in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches tall for that size. And then this one's a little bit smaller. So it's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a, about seven and a quarter, almost seven and a quarter, maybe six and a quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six and a quarter. And then this one's a little bit smaller at one, two, three, four, five and three quarters. It is not permanent. Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist is a pigment colorized with the glimmer in it, and it is not permanent. You would have to seal it with something else to make it permanent on fabric or things that you might wash. Okay, what else? <laughs> Peacock washi. Love it. Isn't that cool? I just, I thought it was really cool too. So that is one journal page that I made and we'll end up putting, we'll see what we can find here. I may put like that tag or something in it. I haven't decided yet. We're going to do this as we go. <laughs> and then I made another journal page. So I've done this in the past where I take one of the Muppet pages and fold it in half and then slip it over the page so you can see it's on both sides. And then I had some more gel prints and I decided to make two pockets. So I've got a pocket here and a pocket there. And then I had a little scrap left over and I decided to make these into little tabs. And I just used a rectangle to one inch by probably two inch almost and then rounded the corners with my punch so it's kind of simple and then this one I made a yeah if you spray it with hairspray or something else yes you can do that <laughs> Um, so this is a tutorial that I made this morning and I'll be posting it in the next few days. And so this is a junk journal page that I made using gel prints. These are gel prints. Then I attached these to a piece of scrapbook paper that I sprayed with Tattered Angels and the boxed flower stencil. This is a scrapbook page that was just a pale purple and I sprayed it. And then I stamped with the butterfly on top of a gel print. And that's how I made that look. And then here's the other side. I love the stencil. I love how this turned out. So that's another page that I have made. So let's see here. And then I've got a couple of Moppet pages. So let's make some more Moppet pages and we'll make a couple journal pages that we can put in the journal. So I've got a pile started already. And we haven't even seen the journal cover yet, right? All right, let's slide this over. Slide that over. 
You love the colors. I do too. I thought the colors would be kind of fun. All right, so I've got a couple of gel prints here. Christy, you had asked after watching my Valentine journal about making the pocket that kind of looks like it has a tuxedo collar on it. So I thought I would kind of show you how I did that. And I'm going to alter it just a little bit because I'm using a gel print and I want the gel print to be seen on both sides. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking right about there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my paper cutter. Mop up pages! Yes, you hear mop up pages! So I'm going to look at my... That's right at five inches. So I'm just making sure that it's going to fit on top of a journal page. So if you make it any wider than five inches, it would stick out. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Regina. You like the fold out? Thank you. Yay! So glad you're here, Mariana. All right, so we're going to go right here. And I'm just going to cut these two apart. And the reason being is because I want to see the gel print. And I don't want to see the back of this. Because if I had just taken this and folded it and made my pocket, you wouldn't see the pretty gel print. But because I cut it off, now you're going to see the gel print. What I'm also going to do is take this piece and fold it down. Now, because I don't want to have to glue this on the bottom, I want there to be a little bit more space. I'm just going to grab some washi tape that's just left over. You're welcome, Christy. So that's what I'm going to do is take that and put some washi tape just to put it back together. Okay. You're welcome, Christy. Just cut off the excess tape. Okay, so basically take a book page, fold it up just a little bit. I'm sorry, Falou. Thank you so much for your donation. It's not working today. I deleted it by accident because it was just a big black box. So, <laughs> no sheep. <laughs> oh, uh, T. Lily, the arena is a game that you pay just a little bit of bucks to play it and then it does some behind the scenes stuff and if you win you win extra bucks so it's just a fun little game <laughs> the sheep is in the pasture okay so I have the first part of this pocket so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and fold it here and then I want to cut it, I always forget this part, right down the center, just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue this flat piece. And fold that down. Hi, Pink Robin! Alright, so then I took this part and I fold it down. And I fold this one down. So that's how you get that look where it looks like it's a little shirt, if you will. And I think I want to do something on here to make that a little bit prettier. So I've got I've got some more washi tape here. I got a I got a pretty blue. So let's put some blue washi tape on here. So I'm just gonna open this back up. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of put this like this. And then I'll get a different one. Let's see if that makes this filled in just a little bit. So I'll cut it again. And now when I fold that over, you see the washi tape. Hi, 
How do I do the metallic gold? This on here, that is using acrylic gold through the stencil on my gel plate. Uh, the nails that I have done is called a dip process. So they paint on a little stuff and then they take my finger and dip it into something. In this case, to get the ombre effect, she sprinkled the powder on top and just kept changing the color until we got it the way we want. So that's how that was done. Hey, Naomi, so glad to have you here. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got that part. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to help hold that down. And then I'm going to glue up the sides here and here. And that is a quick pocket right there that you can then attach to your journal page. And now you're going to have a space up here to even make it better. I'm going to go ahead and fold over this edge here. And then that'll make it a little bit stronger because sometimes book pages are kind of thin and they'll tear if you use them as a tuck spot. Thank you. She did a good job. I thought she was good. All right. See there? Oh, I didn't get that glued down. So we got a little pocket. All right. We'll set that aside. Awesome pocket. All right, let's do, um, let's make some mop-up pages, as we say. So I've got my, oh, I got, look at this pretty mop-up page. I've been saving some for y'all. I think we may even do a mop-up page um, raffle. Did everybody get entered into the raffle for the junk box? We may do that. I think I have some more. Oh yeah, here's a pink. All right, we'll set these aside and we'll do a raffle here in a few minutes. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the um, boxed flowers. You like that? <clears throat> do I ever put a two on it? I don't know what you mean, Julie. Pockets. All right, so I'm going to spray this one. So I think what I want to do is I've got some party pink, not party pink, um, what did she cut in her pockets? How do you do what do you want to know? Catherine, you're asking how do I do that? So let me know what that is. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. All right, so I'm going to spray this with the peahen pink. I'm making sure that it shook up. Took. All right, and then I'm going to grab some of the purple peacock. And let's do a little bit of the blue. Do I ever put a tie on it? You know, sometimes I guess you could just put a little bow there to make it look like a tie. Um, in fact, I've got a little flower here. Maybe that's what we should do is put a little bow or something on that. That might be something we'll do. I'll lay it there. All right, I'm going to get another sheet of paper. And I think... i got a couple of journal cards. So I'm going to lay the journal cards on here. To mop up and then I'm gonna put this piece of paper on top okay did I answer everybody's questions I hope I hope I hope that's kind of cool the way that turned out I like that too using the different colors You think the rose would be pretty cute? So that is a page I made. So let's make, I don't know, I like making them. They're so much fun. 
I'll let you use the peacock uh, stencil, you know? I got that stencil. I made it. It's probably ought to use it, huh? So this is the peacock stencil that comes in the kit. So let's use that. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with some green. Oh, I got it caught. And let's use a little purple. And let's use a little blue. I like doing this because you can make your own papers as you go, depending on what mood you're in, color scheme that you like. To participate in the raffle, type exclamation point raffle. See, Julie just did it. Naomi just told you how. <laughs> type raffle. And this is what it looks like mopped up. What do you think of that? Yay! Hi, Deborah. So glad you have you here. And there's another one that I made. So we got a few uh, mop up pages, if you will. And I use the stencil. I also have in my shop now the Stencil Club stencil. So we've got the Butterfly Dreams. And this is what it looks like when it's sprayed. Hey, Catherine, thank you so much for your donation. And that's another a sample of it. Um, I think I called that quilted something. <laughs> that's what it looks like. And then here are the two half sheets. Hey, I-B-E-L-F, so glad to have you here. I think I did, yes. I, I'm a little behind on sending out, but I did get your address. But you can always send it again. The paper I'm using is just copy paper, uh, printer paper, cheap paper that I get on sale. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah, for, so much for your donation. The um, sheep is not on duty today. He is abandoned in us <laughs> but I'm using um, just standard copy paper I'll get it out for you so you can see just some copy paper that's all I'm using cheap paper and then the tray is just a box that I had that just so happens to fit an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and it keeps it from spraying all over my desk and it fits, um, I don't know if y'all can see right here, there's a drawer, and that's where I keep my little box, and it fits perfectly in there, so I always know where it's at. <laughs> yes. You liking my stencils? Love the butterfly spring stencils? I was having fun making those. The sheep's on hiatus. He'll be back. <laughs> He's on spring break. There you go. I think I want to spray a little bit on the back side of those. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. And I think I want to spray this. Let's use the shimmer. So, well, glad you're back, Sandra. You're welcome, Connie. So, this is the royal gold. So, that's going to give a gold shimmer. Oh, I already see it. It looks really good. Can you see the iridescent gold? When I shift the paper, I'm going to put just a little bit on this side too. Because it's just pretty. And I got some on me. So now I'm going to glimmer. <laughs> the sheep is getting ready for Easter. I like that. <laughs> it's much nicer than what Christy says. <laughs> oh. I love that gold. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Naomi. Naomi sent me a journal, and I have done a video. I got another video I got to edit, y'all. I need an edit gremlin that can edit videos and photos for me. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So it just adds a little bit more shimmer 
to it. So a lot of people were asking me, you know, is that the same as the one in the Bella Rose? And it is different. It has a different mica in it. Yes, I love the journal. You did a great job. It's really pretty. I've got it right behind me. Hey, Bunny! There you go! That's good, Julie. She, Julie says she's using a box that is cut on the sides at an angle upwards to give me more protection, she says. The box of your subscription comes in is the perfect size, Christy says. <sighs> All right, so I'm just going to fold these in half. And I got another one. You love that stencil? I'm I'm pretty happy with If you didn't know, I have the preview of the kit on my channel. It was posted this morning, but I hand drew the design on when you see my stencils, I hand draw those, but this one particularly, I hand drew that and then brought it into my laser cutter software so that I could turn it into a stencil. All right, I think I'm going to glue that right there. So when I look at this and put a little drop of glue. You like that stencil? It, I thought it turned out really good. It's wicked, Pink Robin says. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stick that right there. And I'm going to set this aside up here to dry. So a little purple rose. <gasps> Yay, Giovanna, you got your package. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so I got one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, you know what? You haven't seen you haven't seen the journal kit yet. <clears throat> All righty. Oh, and I got more mop up pages. And there's the tattered angel that comes in the kit. It might help if I got it out, huh? A Linda box! <laughs> yes, the uh, peacock stencil is in the box. The peacock stencil, this stencil comes in your box. Yeah! Um, Mariana, when you are ready to redeem your bucks, First, I need to make sure I have your email address. I'm just trying to get a piece of paper. Um, and then you would type exclamation point. To redeem 2,000 junk bucks for... Ten dollar off coupon of ten dollars or more. You like the colors? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. The cost of the box is twenty four ninety nine plus. Uh, shipping. I was with Dots T. Lily. I used to be with Dots until it turned into close to my heart. You're very welcome, Mariana. Um, so here is the journal. It has the wrong cover, so let me get the right cover to show you. My print guy had a problem printing and printed the wrong thing on the cover here, but I wanted to show you what it'll look like when it's printed correctly. And we've designed it this way so that if you do take the journal apart, then you can choose to have this as your cover or you could have that as your cover. Yeah, dots became close to my heart. Yeah, if you want to redeem your 2000 bucks, you'll type award. And you want to make sure that I have your email address so that I can email you the coupon later. Okay. Yay! Mariana earned 
here ten dollars off all right so i'm gonna put that on my list so i can email you a coupon All righty, and I will go ahead and thank you for supporting me. Yeah, Bunny, please send me a message. I didn't see what you were asking, but send me a message and I can take care of you. Thank you, Pam, for your donation. I know that the little sheep's not running around, but we'll get that fixed. All right, so we're going to do the giveaway right now for the 200 junk bucks. So I'm going to pick a winner. And that's Julie Parker. You got 200 junk bucks. So as uh, Mariana just showed that you can redeem those for a $10 off coupon. So once you get to 2000 All right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to allow entries and we're going to do another junk bucks giveaway. Okay. All right. So I showed you what the cover looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use the one that he sent. I'll save the other one for next time. Yeah, you can send it to my website or you can send it to uh, my Facebook page, Mariana. So you can send it to, um, or you can send it to um, uh, Facebook. Oh, Pam, you did your $10 off. Awesome. All right, let me mark that down. And she got her $2,000 for $10. Congratulations. Yay. Okay. Oh, how neat, uh, Norella. She says, just a random fact to share about the Peacock Kit. When designing the kit, I used a scan from a book published in 1808. It's about the imperi an imperial peacock who is at the Butterfly Ball. That's cool. Yay, Christy. Oh, you did yours too? Christy? Awesome. Thank you for telling me. All right. I got to write this down. <laughs> Alrighty. You're welcome. You know, I ought to do that. Thank you, Naomi. I ought to ask him for that. <laughs> Thank you, Robin, for letting me know. Okay, so in the subscription box, you get a bound journal. Again, due to time crunch, trying to get it. Mine is not bound, but it normally is bound with two staples on the spine. And it comes with three pages inside that are eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So you get 12 pages of journal pages. So we're going to take those out and I'm going to look here. I think I'm going to go ahead and fold these up. So we'll have lots of journal pages. Yay! So glad to have you here! Congratulations! Congratulations Christy and Mariana and Pam on redeeming your junk bucks. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. So I've got six. And let's do, let's do it like that, maybe. Now, which one do I want in the center? Do we want this in the center? And if you donate any dollar amount, you can um, enter to win the journal at the end. Okay, I think this is what I'm going to do. The neat the story would be neat to add to the set box. You like that? <clears throat> Maybe I can print a little fact sheet to put in there. Isn't that cool? It's kind of fun to see how Norella comes gets things to come together. Yes, the if you have subscribed, Naomi, when your renewal comes up, 
I may have to grant you access, but you'll get it whenever the renewal date is. So whenever you purchase the virtual subscription, whatever day that is, that's when it'll be available to you. But I'll go in and look to see if I need to uh, give you uh, permissions to it. Butterfly one in the center, that's what I want to do. Okay, so we're going to do the cover and one of the printed journal pages. A mop-up sheet and a mop-up sheet a different color one of the pages I made prior to the stream starting all right and then we're gonna do mop-up page I love the gold on here Um, you can type it there if you want, Mariana, or you can type it in the contact um, field or form, contact me form, and then I'll get it as an email to me. Hey, Sherry, you redeemed $10 coupon. Wow, this is a popular day. Everybody's going to redeem their coupons. <laughs> They're all getting finally to 2,000 points. All right, let me write that down for Sherry. So congratulations. All right. Oh, sorry. For some reason, um, captions don't work on lives. I can't get it to put captions on. So, And it acts really weird, so I don't know why. You're welcome, Mariana. Hey, Dee Dee! So glad to have you here! I hope you're okay today. I hope you're having a good day. Alrighty, so I'm getting out all my things that I need to bind the journal. The bucks do not expire. The coupon expires, but the buck does not expire. So I'm just going to put the giant, giant paper clips on here. To keep my journal from shifting. Kathy Lake, you got your coupon too, I see. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> I need a secretary. <laughs> Kathy Lake. Alrighty. Make sure I have your email address, I know, because you buy stuff for me. So we're good. All right, so I've got the binder clips on here. Yeah, uh, Debbie said she used, Deborah said she used her junk bucks um, to get the Tattered Angels paint kit. So it kind of helped her with those, getting that. Okay. The papers are beautiful. Thank you. You're, you're, you're nowhere near two, 200 points. <laughs> you need 2,000. <laughs> All righty. So now I'm going to punch down the center. And down the center. And down the center. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Mariana, especially on my website. <laughs> uh, verify that you are human. <clears throat> keep chatting, keep coming. Any donations that you make, also enter you in. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, Dee Dee, for your donation as well. I greatly appreciate it. Sorry if I didn't say so sooner. Uh, and welcome Martina for subscribing. If you're watching and you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. When I get to 10,000 subscribers, thank you, Mariana. Um, I will be having lots of wonderful giveaways, giving away lots of prizes. So you want to be involved with that and to find out about it, you want to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so I'm just doing a typical pamphlet stitch starting in the center. Hey, 
Yes, there are kits available, Marie. Just go to my shop and get them. To find out how many bucks you have, type exclamation point bucks. And you will get your title. But yes, there are a few kits left. Um, I think I had, before I started the stream, I know I have 15 left in my shop. That number could change, but that's how much I have right now. Okay. All right, so I'm just pulling this really tight. I want to make sure that it's tight on the outside as well as the inside. So really pull on that. It's really important, too, that you use a strong thread. I have been gifted journals in the past where they used pretty much sewing thread, and it's too thin. The uh, spine will wobble, and then it will break those um fiber so you want to use something like wax linen thread because it is really strong I can pull on this and you can see the marks on my fingers where I'm pulling on it and it's not breaking so that's why I like using the wax linen thread you can get it through a link that I have in the description box below so if you have been looking for some I've got a good source for one thank you uh, Rita for your donation and thank you um, Norella for your donation you're so sweet thank you thank you thank you you love the center pages thank you woodwork for supplies experienced <laughs> that's what I'm doing T Lily I'm working for supplies <laughs> oh dear <laughs> all right yeah, Marie, you have 15 junk bucks. <laughs> Did you try it? It's okay. See, I, I prefer the, to pry it. I'm already done. Then you know it's going to work. Look, I have little tabs here. I think we need to make some more tabs to put in this journal. So I'm going to grab got some more scraps of paper here. So I'm just going to cut some strips. Let's cut some... Let's see, two inch strip. And I'll cut off this excess. I got a new paper cutter. Um, it's a Fiskars because I needed a second paper cutter for the shop. And I find out that uh, I needed a new one. So thank you so much, Robin. Yeah, sewing needle is a good needle. I sell the needles, too, in my shop. I have them, too, for $5. Oh, you can do it, Linda. You can do it. Oh, I see. I, yeah, I just, it's just, uh, I think it's credit card of, what is it? Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. I think it takes all of those. You use heavy crochet thread? Oh, thank you, Robin. We're at $45.97 now in the junk jar, so we need less than $5 for the the uh, raffle at the end. Because you redeemed your 2000 bucks, Mariana. It's not going to let you keep them. You redeemed them. <laughs> but you can keep earning uh, on... Uh, while you watch here, okay, I think what I want to do, yeah, if I make, cut these a two inch squares, two inch square, and then they'll wrap around a page, one inch on each side. Let's see how many we get here. We have one extra, so if you have some matching, you redeem them, that's why. <laughs> You have a long way to go. To donate, there is a dollar sign near the chat. That's the super chat. And whatever form of payment you have connected to Google, like the Google Play Store, um, that's what we'll use to make your payment our donation. All right, so now I'm just going to take these and fold them in half. It is funny how it takes it away. Well, that's my junkie Joe did that. Thank you, Robin, for helping her. 
you're quite chatty. Keep chatting. <laughs> Keep coming up to the lives. And also, um, I'm doing a raffle right now. If y'all haven't entered the raffle, enter the raffle and you can win 200 junk bucks. Terry's got 800. She only needs 1,200 more. She get a $10 off. I'm going to get something to drink. Hey, it doesn't take, it takes a little while. You can do it. All right. So now what I'm going to do, since I folded these in half, I'm going to grab my um, Cropodile Corner Rounder. You're sending him to the corner. <laughs> and I'm just going to round the corners off. And see how that looks? It's kind of cute, isn't it? This is a great way if, if you want some page tabs, but you don't have the fancy punch, you don't have the Cricut or the Silhouette. Well, you can use a corner rounder. It doesn't have to be this brand of corner rounder. I know that Stampin' Up! offers one. You can get little cheap uh, finger held ones. I just find, for me, tool-wise, because it's a heavier duty one, it doesn't hurt my hands like those little, like this little beady punch. You know, when you go to punch it, you kind of have to use both hands and sometimes they can hurt. So that's why I like that tool. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. And thank you, Robin Stapp. And thank you, Regina, for your donation. And let's see. And Karen, thank you for your donation. And Robin, thank you for your donation. And Mariana, thank you for your donation. And Barbara Oliver, thank you for your donation. And Suzanne, uh, is it Suzanne? I hope it's Suzanne. Uh, thank you. And Pink Robin, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is kind of look at my journal. And I think I want to put... I think it would look kind of interesting as a contrast on that page, don't you? So when you open it up, you see this. So let's put one here. You like your corner chompers? Um, so I'm going to go in here and just put a little bit of glue and press it into place and then flip it over and do the other side. Ah, don't move on me. And then press that down. You have the little old one from Marvy? Yeah, I think I have that one. I like this big one. It's so much ha easier. All right, Naomi. See you later. Be careful out there in the rain. Yes, the Hunger Games will be opened at the end. You love the gel prints? I, I just have fun making them. I can sit and play for hours. And what's funny is I then scan them in and I send them to Norella. And she's used them in the kit. So if I'll show it to you in just a moment that um, some of the things that she did. Is there one right here? Like that butterfly. I'll zoom in on it so you can see. So this butterfly, she um, used one of my gel prints and put the butterfly image behind it or in front of it. I thought that was really cool. Put some glitter on the peacock tail. I can do that. I can do that. I didn't get a chance to do that today. I had planned on it. And the cable guy stopped by, the internet guy stopped by to make sure everything was working for me. I was really glad that they were willing to stop and check on me. And I've been working on a tutorial that I didn't go in and put the glitter on like I normally do. So let's do that. All right. You love the gel prints. Thank you. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. I hope it gets better, Terry. All righty. Thank you, Angelica. You need glitter. All right, so we're just going to put some glitter on here. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of spread it around just a little bit. And it'll help it dry faster because I did that. And I'm just using Tulip Dimensional Glitter. Thank you so much, Sa uh, Sally, for your donation. And thank you, Slogan, for your donation as well. I'm going to use my heat tool and kind of zap it. Hi, Austin. Hey, hey, hey. 
Well, I'm glad you could stop for just a minute. Did you get to see the Linda Wisdom journals, those lives? I hope, I hope, because I know you wanted me to do a tutorial, and I hadn't until then. <laughs> We have, a, we have a second raffle going. I haven't called it yet. So enter the raffle. You get 200 junk bucks. I think that's dry. Because you don't want to flip your page. Austin's in the house! If you haven't checked out Austin's channel, he does some really cool uh, crafts as well. If you have a channel, even though you can't put a link up, say, hey, I have a channel. I have a YouTube and what you can do is you can click on their name and you can follow them or subscribe to them. Yeah, I understand, Austin. You know, remember you can put it on super speed and do it two times the speed and fast forward through it so you don't have to sit there and wait on me to dry paint. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, I bet it's beautiful. I'll have to check it out. Do you have a video up? You did? You bought five different colors of the glitter? I love this stuff because it, it really works well. It dries fast. I love that it's sh a shimmery color. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the pages really fast. That way they're done. Because we're just chatting. Oh, I was going to put glue on there. I don't want to do that. I want to put the paint. Did you enter the raffle? I don't know. You might ought to enter the raffle. <laughs> raffle. Austin, do that again. You wrote raffle or raff cake or, yeah, raff cake. <laughs> you making up new things? <laughs> Mariana says, I have a channel. There's nothing there, though. <laughs> Oh, we got somebody entered the free-for-all. You can win some junk bucks by typing exclamation point FFA. I think it costs you 10 junk bucks. And you could win a bunch, like 100 or more. You finished it today? Oh, perfect, perfect. It is a mini game, Maria, um, that you can pay just a few junk bucks to play it. And if you win, you win quite a bit. It could be, you know, a few and it could be like 100 or something. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, it's kind of a lottery game. You got it, Robin, a lottery game. You're buying a ticket to see if you're going to win. <laughs> you're eating early. Is this your lunchtime, Julie? I can't remember if this is your breakfast or your lunchtime. All right, let's dry that. Well, that one's drying, I'll glitter this one up. I understand. Well, you can enter again. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. If you're already entered, you can still type raffle, exclamation point raffle, to get entered in the raffle. I like it. Can you kind of start to see the glitter on there? Let that one dry. So who is going to be getting this kit? Don't you love that? I love the colors. That's one of my gel prints. This is a pocket that we can glue down, but I went ahead and put some glitter on it. Henry's here. Henry? Henry won something? Henry? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, at least it's not Jason. Jason kept winning the last time he was here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Henry won more bucks <laughs> too funny oh too funny thank you so much Mariana <laughs> it, you know it kind of depends on who I'm talking to how my southern my southern drawl <laughs> comes out um, if I really play it up it gets kind of 
twangy, as they say. <laughs> oh, dear. Jason cheats. <laughs> Henry has stolen the bucks. <laughs> you love the blues and the purples and the kit? I do, too. I think it's gorgeous. I think Norella did a great job. It was it was fun that I sent her all those gel prints. I'm talking, I, I know I spent two hours uploading the prints. And, and then I spent two hours making the prints. Uh, so she had a bunch to choose from. You are bunny, but you subscribe when I started the subscription boxes. Yeah, you're one of my my legacy people. <laughs> sort of like country singers. You got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Henry. Henry's here. <laughs> he's at the shop where our embroidery shop is. He's He's got to work so I can stay here and play. Yeah, they come out. The subscription box is every other month. Every other month, so every two months, you'll be billed two months from the day that you sign up. So if you sign up today, then in May the uh, 25th, that's when you'll be billed for the next box. And I don't know, if, Norella, if you're ready to say what the next box is, if you're still here, you can do that. Yes, uh, Sherry, one of the pages is a gel print. Um, I'll show you which one that is. It is, where's my stuff? Do I still have it here? Oh, you get that, um, uh, not this particular one, but one like this in the digital download. In the digital download, you get something similar to that one. I don't have, oh wait, here we go. I gotta find the page. Here it is. So this is in the digital download and in the physical kit. If you buy the add-on for fourteen ninety-nine, spill it. So this is one of the pages here. Okay. June's creative box will be steampunk, but it's not going to be your traditional. Uh, brown and beige and cream um, color schemes. We're going to make it bright colors. It's going to be bright blues and greens and purples and pinks. Kind of think, and I, I haven't really said this to uh, Norella, kind of think of if you've watched the Hunger Games when they go to the Capitol and they're all wearing those really bright funky colors. Well, we're going to try to do something with really bright funky colors. Um, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun because I'm working on some stencil designs um, and then Jason's been working on some rubber stamp designs that I hope that he will release to me so I can produce those for y'all. Um, and then I'm going to make some gel prints to send to Norella and maybe some other work that uh, we can add to the kit. So it's going to be a true uh, collaborative uh, kit. Okay. Jumping for joy. You like it? Oh, yay. I'm so glad I'm seeing some positivity about steampunk. Yay. Christy says, oh, my lanta. <laughs> Bright colors. I want it to be bright colors. I think it will be interesting. It may, you know, we may have a weird interpretation of it, but <laughs> I think it's going to be quirky like I am, uh, unique like we all are, and I think it's going to be fun. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so here's the one that dried earlier on that card. Can you see the, the glimmer in that? I think it'll be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's see here. Oh, we got another butterfly. All right, this page should be dry. Let's go over here. So I'm just putting glitter on these. Normally I would have done this before the feed, but today I decided to fussy cut items instead. <laughs> you have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't want it to be traditional. I think if we harass uh, uh, him enough, too, he will. <laughs> uh, I sent him a message, but or an email, 
and he hadn't replied to it yet, but he may be like me. He doesn't get to his email very often because of everything else. I think this is looking really good. I'll put some on this dress form. Yeah, I understand, Julie. I know you You may not be a steampunk person, but but I think it'll be really cool. I think it'll be fun. The kits are, um, the subscription box are $24.99 plus shipping. And you get the journal, three fussy cut pages, the stencil, you get a bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, then you get some fibers and sequins and beads and charms, uh, lace and ribbon trims. I'll let that dry for a moment. Um, while that's drying, I'll get out the bits and pieces so y'all can see. So I could get half a yard of this ribbon. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't have enough to use these supplies. Thank you so much, Kathy, for your donation. In the journals, I have exactly 100. <laughs> I haven't purchased enough extra yet to be able to use all the little things. But you'll get like these two pieces of purple. You know, I mean, wouldn't that look cool against that? You know, um, you're going to also get a yard. Oopsie. I'm throwing things in the floor. You're going to get a yard of this pretty lace. Raffle time! You get a yard of trims. So it comes with a lot of cool stuff. All right. Thank you. Okay, we'll do a raffle. All right, where do I do my notepad? There it is. Dry. Okay, so this is for... 200 junk bucks and do y'all want me to do um do you want me to do some mop-up pages and a couple gel prints as a raffle or do you want more junk bucks that's your choice i'm gonna do the raffle get into the raffle okay so let me know if you want me to uh, raffle more bucks if you want me to um, raffle off some some mop-up pages and gel prints. Thank you, Bunny, for saying that. Bunny says, for anyone that considers order box from Linda, it comes with a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. See you later, Norella. Thank you so much for being here. Mop-up pages, Angelica says. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. All right, we're going to pick the winner. Okay, I see two that say mop-up pa mop pages. Pick winner. Jamie Schnell. Jamie, are you still here? Jamie Scheel? Maybe Scheel. S-C-H-I-E-L. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I just award those to you. Durr, I don't have to have your address. <laughs> Gel prints. Okay, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yay, Jamie, you won. I will award your junk bucks when we get off here, okay? Um, all right, so let's go to the giveaway. Let's reset it. Yes. And we're going to do um, gel prints and mop uh, pages. And open giveaway. All right, so you can now enter the raffle. And you're going to enter for the gel prints and mop-up pages I'm going to put together, okay? All right, I'm going to dry this page so I can flip it. <laughs> Faluk says, just finish up that journal and pop it in the mail. Hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Jamie. All right, that one's dry. I'm trying to do this quicker. I know where y'all are getting impatient. <laughs> Where's my glue? Uh, oh yeah, and there's a feather in the kit too. Thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, there's a feather, and I have exactly 100. <laughs> where is the feather? It's in this box somewhere. Ah, 
and you get a feather in the kit. Isn't that beautiful? So I tried to give y'all a great variety of goodies um, that you can use. You can use them with this kit or you can use them with something else. I, that's why I try to put pretty much generic, like the white, the ivory, the craft color, the black. That can go with just about everything. Um, so that way you can color it anytime, any way you want. Linda's original gel print makes it more of a collector item, Sally says. Aw, thank you. <laughs> you love your journal, Christy? <laughs> no, it will not cancel you. It doesn't. You can enter the raffle 1,500 times. It's only going to count one time. <laughs> but it doesn't penalize you. Oh, you're good. You're good. All right, and we're getting that one dry. You're very welcome. Yes, Christy, you, if you want, I can actually do it for you if you want on the subscription box so that you don't have to worry about it. Because I think um, whenever your renewal is, I can just go ahead and add it to that. Send me a message on the website to remind me because I may forget. Like I said, I need a secretary. All right, so we got glitter on that one and that one. And where's this one? Okay, that one. Okay, we got it right here. You're very welcome. <laughs> Yeah, the angel, the tattered angels, there's just, I just love them, how they've come together. And once, once you realize you don't want to be heavy handed when you spray, you want to do it lightly. It's better to do several light paths instead of just squirt, <laughs> squirt. <laughs> and then, you know, you get it up and you can't see the image. Okay, okay, I got you, Christy. Go ahead and do it then. Um, then I can uh, I can ed edit your shipping costs. Yeah. Junkie Joe needs a vacation. <laughs> yeah, autocorrect can be a pain. I understand. I understand. <laughs> How are you confusing my store? We haven't, okay, tell me why you are confused, because I have it set up where you can go to stamps, you can go to subscription, um, you could go to the digital, you can go to kits, um, and if you click on one thing, you could pretty much domino into the next, because whatever is suggested comes up below, but if there's something I can improve, and it's within my power, I will figure it out. Yes, you can You can let me know ahead of time, Julie, and then I can add it to your subscription as long as it's before your subscription is paid. If it isn't paid yet, you're not. yours doesn't go to like the, I'm going to make up a date, the 1st of April. Well, if you get to me by the end of uh, March, then I can go in and change it, okay? Oh, my. You're very welcome, Christy. Yes, and the stencil club is going too. Um, I just put up the new stencils for April. And if y'all want as a subscription to be able to go back and buy the stencils, just let me know when you check out that you wanted, you know, marches over Aprils or you want when if you come in in August, you wanted Junes. And I can do that as well. Okay. They ship on April the 15th. The subscription boxes ship on April the 15th. It may go early. It depends on when I get my printed materials and my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist um, from my vendors. I got two different vendors. And then um, I'll be able to um, 
get it all put together and shipped. I have one stamp that I'll show you that I thought was kind of cute to go with this. I have got the graphics to make a rubber stamp. I just haven't learned how to use the equipment yet. <laughs> I understand, Julie. You want it all, but no. <laughs> well, that, that may be something I should just do. Just say, I want it all. <laughs> Maybe, hey, I'll do that. I will go in and I will add a button that says, add it all. I want it all. Because I think it's kind of confusing sometimes. I get it. <clears throat> okay. All right. We got this two more. And then we can move on to embellishing. Okay. Y'all going to love on um, Thursday because I'm going to use the add-on kit. My camera is different, Austin. I have three new cameras. Um, I have a camera up here, a camera here, and wait for it. Wait for it. I have a sewing cam. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all new. Um, my neighbor and computer genius and friend uh, helped me set up. Henry keeps winning the junk box. <laughs> <coughs> well, here's what we'll do then. Um, Henry will have to tell me who is going to get his winnings. Ha! So that's what we're going to do. So Henry, you got to keep track of whoever harasses you the most or is the nicest to you. And I will give them your bucks that you won. <laughs> so yeah, Austin, uh, I got it all set up. Uh, I'm using a new software so I can do all the picture within picture and whatnot. So I don't know. It's kind of fun. Alrighty, so Jamie won the junk box. Did y'all get entered into the raffle? Did y'all get entered? <laughs> the Peacock Stencil is not for sale. Um, it's only with the subscription box. It's part of, that's the perk of the subscription box. Is getting the stencil, because you're getting it at a discounted price. You know, if you were to buy the journal by itself, it would be around uh, probably $12, $13. The stencil by itself would be $10.99. The Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist by itself would be $5. And then the ephemera pack that I put in there and the buttons and the fibers and stuff. I mean, really, you could probably get retail price somewhere around 20 bucks. So you're getting a lot. <laughs> Henry spoils me. Henry spoils me. Huh? <sighs> Yeah, if you, if you win, then um, <laughs> your bucks are going to be given to somebody else. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. He is a great guy. I am very blessed to have him. So, yeah, buying the kit is a lot cheaper, exactly, than trying to buy them all individually. Um, you know, and I'm trying to give you all great value and the tutorials and the fellowship and the other add-on items that I have in my shop as well. And I really appreciate that. Yes, yes, there is one with the peacock feather. I've got it out here and I'm going to show you. Um, I'll probably do a new studio tour not anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what I can do. I'm going to do this. Y'all ready? I'm going to change it to the sewing cam. All right, so back over here behind me, do you see all of that? That's my paper, and I've got fibers and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So if you go back here in the corner, that's all Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. There's like one, two, three, four shelves 
worth of tattered angels and there's some paper flowers up there and then um back here this is not even all these are just some of my rubber stamps which i hardly use anymore because i'm not making greeting cards um, but that's my stamps and then this has changed quite a bit i started displaying things that i enjoyed um, a lot of the beeline design rubber stamps are up there some of my just favorite rubber stamps that i like gifts that have been given to me so uh, austin you probably recognize something way up there if you do you do up there i i love the gifts that people send me i try to put them out and i get inspired by them um, as you can see naomi's journal uh, that she sent to me and there's another journal behind that I made. Oh, and then Janice, Janet, uh, Kathy, thank you for your donation. Sorry if I didn't mention it earlier. Um, Janet sent me this. Isn't this cute? This little peacock. It's a cat toy. But she thought it was kind of fun and uh, gave it to me. So that's that's a quick little tour of part of my room. How's that? <laughs> oh, and then let me, uh, this is uh, a necklace. Oops, it's backwards. That uh, my world in OKC, Tammy, sent to me. And that was really sweet of her to do that. Yeah, I can post a picture of that. I can do that, most definitely. Alrighty. So, has everybody entered the raffle? Everybody entered the raffle. And then um, I'm going to draw again in just a couple more minutes. I think I'll put one on this page right here just kind of putting them at different heights throughout the journal you love the peacock toy thank you so much Rena ah. you see my mess <laughs> making you thirsty <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> well, it's true. I can't get into my room. I make sure that I can at least shut the door. <laughs> oh. Oh. And, and I have a maze to get in here because it's you have to walk around a bunch of things to get in here. It's just kind of funny how I've got it set up, but it works for me. You got to find what works for you, you know, and I'd love to have one of those beautiful. Yeah, you did a great job. I loved it, Naomi. Um, you know, have those beautiful showroom looking craft rooms. And I'm like, well, that would be beautiful, but I'd be afraid to get it dirty. <laughs> With my hodgepodge mess in here, I don't care. <sighs> yeah, that's how I do sometimes. Is Henry winning again? <laughs> Alright, so there's some tabs with gel prints. Isn't that kind of cool? It's making coffee. Woohoo! Mmm. I can imagine, Margie. The cats would destroy everything. They would just be like, Oh, toys, toys, toys! <laughs> toys, toys, toys. All right. No, Henry isn't actually Jason. Henry is Henry and Jason is Jason. They're two different people. <laughs> That's funny, though. All right, so I think... I like that. Let's put this one here. So in the kit, the, with the subscription box, you get this little envelope uh, pocket thingy. Um, so you can cut this part here, and you can fold it to the back and glue it down, and then you have the full pocket that you can put in your journal. And I'm thinking on that page, so I'm going to glue this all up. <laughs> Henry, you're smart and good looking too, you goob. Uh, I ought to have a D stash auction. <laughs> I stay in here a lot, Regina. I really do. Um, 
you know, a lot of you may send me messages throughout the day on Facebook and YouTube or whatever, even my website, and I don't sit at my computer. I am in my studio space or I'm out in my yard working in my garden. Um, and then when Henry comes home, we eat dinner together and we, uh, we you know, spend the night together unless I have to get something done. Hello, Rhonda. So glad to have you. Showroom craft room, they look at it in the magazine camera, me so messy, and I admit it. Yeah, me too. Where did Henry and I meet? Henry and I met because I was engaged to his best friend. Actually, we met before I was engaged to him, but that's how we know each other is his best friend was my fiance. And then um, my fiance was trying to also, he was trying to get married as quickly as possible because he wanted custody of his daughter. And so he told Henry one night to babysit me, to take me to dinner, to do whatever, to babysit me. Because he, my fiance, was going to go see another girl in the hopes that she would say yes and they could get married right away. And that's how our relationship began. <laughs> so, what do you think of that? <laughs> Alright, I had some journal cards here. So look here, I've got this journal card that we can put back behind. And then we've got this one that's in the kit that can go there. All right, so rubber stamps, rubber stamps. Let me get the rubber stamps. So in my shop, we have a kit or rubber stamp set that's called um, Feathered Friends. And I thought this would be a really cute, let me just do it right here. It's a peacock feather. What do you think? And it's real delicate and fine, but it's perfect for a journal page. Okay, I'm going to do something here. I feel like we're not getting the right white balance. <clears throat> You're not disarray, Jason. No, but I need some adjustments done because I screwed things up. <laughs> the sheep no longer dances. He's gone. <laughs> Henry says, I hope she'll he'll come back one day and get her. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to use me to get custody of his daughter. <laughs> yeah, I am much better off with Henry. <laughs> yeah, Henry's a winner. We've been together for a while. Do you like it? And then and let me show you the next one is a little birdie. I think it says, let's put it right here, because I think that would be kind of cute. A little bird told me, and that's a part of the journal space. What do you think of that? Can't take Linda anywhere. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, Henry was a much better choice. I agree. All right, let's put... We need something. Oh, here we go. This will work. I think that should go right here. And I think what I want to do is put it on a gel print. So I'm moving some stuff around. Are y'all ready for me to do the next raffle? Raffle. Yeah, you can get the stamp too, Sherry. So the stamp is four, a set of four stamps. Let me do this. Let's see. We'll just cut this kind of in half. All right, so I'm taking this gel print and cutting it in half. It's probably almost a square, maybe not. But I'm looking at it, and I think what I'm going to do is fold over this edge. And then I'm going to fold over this edge. Okay. And then what I'll do is I will paste that down. 
right there. Oops, sorry, I was out of camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's been waiting for a long time. Like the peacock feather? Thank you, Janice. Yeah, I know. It just, that went weird, too. I don't know why. I'm going to try. I'm going to zoom in. I don't know why. It's just gone funky. Because the box was working. The purple box was working. And now it's not. It's sad. <laughs> I didn't go nuts. Not me. Wasn't me. So I'm just gluing that top part down because that's going to be where um, the paper comes in and out of this. And then we're going to glue this down as a pocket. Like so. Okay. It's all fixable. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you stay in that reality. <laughs> then that pull the page together. You like that? And so it gives us a little base for the flower there. And then we've got a space behind here that we can put a journaling card. I'm going to wait because it's not quite dry and I don't want it to stick. But I want to make something for this little pocket. So, oh, let's do this. I love this purple glittery paper. What do you think of that? So let's make a couple of little tags. So let's go uh, probably two inches would be good. I found some glitter paper and I thought I have got to make some stuff with this. Who watched my um, pen tutorial? Who watched the pen tutorial? You know, we used to make those all the time back in the 90s. And when my friend Beverly reminded me of that, I was like, oh, that was so cool. Thank you for reminding me so I could show y'all how to make them. And I know there's other people that has them too. So go out there and watch all those pen tutorials and see what everybody comes up with. So I'm going to use this little punch. Okay. Yeah, it's called, the peacock feather is feathered friends, Robin. Feathered friends. Okay. It's a set of four feathered friends. Okay, thank you, Naomi. <laughs> the sheep took everything with it. I don't know why. It's mad. <laughs> oh, Henry's starting another one. <laughs> you made some? You liked it? Thank you. Thank you. You like the pen tutorial? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I think that one went crooked. It's crooked, but that's okay, right? We're it's all right. It's a happy mistake. Um I don't have a cardinal journal, but I can't remember there's a kit that she did use some cardinals in. I'll have to look it up and let you know, Sally. You watched the pen tutorial last night? Yay! Okay, thank you. You watched it, Christy? See, I think that would look cute there. And then look at this, if we put that in here. Wouldn't that be cute? So let me grab... Ah! Avalanche! Dang! Alright. How many of y'all do this to your threads to get the end? You just shake it? <laughs> how it pops off. <laughs> I always lose the end of the yarn and can't find it. And so that's how I find it. I shake it. <laughs> uh, let's see if I got a string. There we go. So I use a, another string to thread fibers because they can be rather difficult. You watched it. So y'all like that pen tutorial? I'm going to make another one here in a moment. 
Rigged. Jason won. <laughs> All right, now, Jason's going to have to forfeit his bucks. <laughs> oh, dear. So we think, isn't that cute right there? Let me get something to drink. Hmm. Ah, uh, give me one moment and I can find it. Um, products. <laughs> I may have spelt it wrong. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Feathered Friend Feather Friends Quartet rubber stamp. Feathered Friends Quartet. Do do do. We're going to get it. There it is. It helps if you say the correct name. <laughs> there is that rubber stamp set. <clears throat> All right. So look at that. We got that done. We stamped on the other side. And I think that'll be good for this page. Let's kind of flip back over here. And then we've got, let's see, find... Feathered friend. That'll be a good one. Let's put that on here. Because we can use that. So thank you, Sandra, for your donation. You like this? Oh, thank you so much, Sandra. That's so sweet of you. Uh, where do I find the beautiful fiber? I have collected this fiber over many, many, many years. Um, I will go to um, yarn shops. I'll look at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and uh, the Joannes of the world. Um, but I've been finding it all around the world and for a long time. See, fine feathered friend. I think that's kind of cute. So let's put the uh, peacock feather on this side. And then let's put this pocket that we made earlier on this side. See how that kind of pulls that all together? All right. You're welcome, Robin. Yeah, so get out those eyelash yarns and threads and ribbons and whatever else you have. And especially if you're getting this cut, get a little basket and collect all of those supplies in a little pile that you can see so that while you're creating and you go, oh, I want some of this and oh, I want some of that. I know it helps me to have that. You like the tag that didn't come out right? Isn't that kind of funny? It's kind of neat. So we'll put some fibers on that and stick that in there. Yeah, Jason, Jason's got a, it's a good price, man. <laughs> and I have paid him some. <laughs> He's helped me a lot. Ah. Oh, yeah, so Autumn, you'll be able to find them. That'll be good, Sandra. Good time of year. To find things. Yep, you're a sucker. No, you're not. You're a good guy. He is an awesome guy. If y'all ever need web design or web hosting, Jason's your guy. And he's an artist, too. Oh, yeah, since we got you here, Jason, we want you to work on some steampunk uh, images. We don't want zombies. We want steampunk. <laughs> you have lots of souls. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so then I was going to decorate this, but I'm running out of time. 
I think that's a cute dress for him. I'll do a separate video, I think, um, decorating this up. What do you think? Alrighty. So we put something there. We need some more journal cards. I've got some more cards here. Oh yeah, I made those earlier um, with the gel prints and just took a square and put on there. Give me your souls, he says. <laughs> yeah, he rigged the ring. Yeah. <laughs> Steampunk zombie peacocks. <laughs> Souls, um, hard pass for me, says Chrissy. <laughs> Steam demon punk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh, see you later, bunny. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> uh, we got married in Las Vegas. Henry and I uh, were going to have the big wedding because he's an only child and we thought that's what his parents would want and turned out that they weren't interested at all <laughs> in having a wedding and they sent us to Las Vegas to get married. Believe it or not, <laughs> I think, oh, I've got this so that, okay, we'll make this a corner tuck spot. No demon stuff. No, I know I don't want any demons or or zombies. So I want, I want to uh, steampunk, fun and whimsical. Oh yes, I have. It's made by um, uh. Beeline Designs, and there's the link to the feather stamp. They they had it designed already, so this will go right there. And I've just added it to my shop for y'all. All right, we got a couple more journal cards we can put in here, so let's round the corners. All right, so we need to give away the uh, gel prints and the journal pages, right? Let's put that there and put that there. So I'm going to grab one, two, three, four, five. Let's find a gel print. I had one here I was going to use, but here we go. Here's a gel print. Here's a gel print. There's a gel print. So this is going to be for the raffle. Okay, I'm going to draw the raffle. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. That's so sweet. Thank you. Winsicle. <laughs> oh. Let's see. It needs more lace. Well, I haven't done any lace yet. Do the drawing. <laughs> Shotgun should reach it. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Give away. Pick. Oh, let me get my notepad. All right. So they're getting the mop-up pages. Bonnie. Bonnie, you won the mop-up pages. I think I have your address. If not, make sure that you message me. Okay, I have enough gel prints and mop-up pages. I can do that again if y'all want. So let me know. I'm going to put this under here. So I've got, there's three gel, da, 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 four, and, oh, the butterfly one, five. And then let's get... So y'all are getting original art. 
we'll get a, one of those and let's see oh yeah let's do this one and we'll do that one okay all right so bonnie are you still here or did you have oh bonnie had to go okay never mind i know which bonnie it is she had to go all right bonnie thank you um let's see here All righty, so let's see. I'm going to do the giveaway, and we're going to, I'm going to do this again, so I'm going to allow entries, and y'all can enter to win this set of mop-up pages while I work on this journal, kind of get it finished. Okay, so enter the raffle. One more draw. Okay. So we've got these, so I'm going to go ahead and punch holes in them, and let's put some fibers in them. Raffle! More mop -up pages! Alright, everybody's getting injured. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put some fibers on these. And since I already had these fibers out, I just feel like for consistency, I'm going to keep using it. But if I had more laying out here, I would go ahead and use them all as well. Um, just mix them all together and add different colors. This is just what was laying on my desk. So... <laughs> <laughs> Jason wants my mop ups. <laughs> oh dear. Well, if it was that easy, if all I had to do is pay Jason a mop up pages, I probably could do that. <laughs> oh dear. In your dreams, Jason. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You're sitting in a balcony watching. Oh, fun. I want to be somewhere pretty right now. It's, this weather cannot make up its mind. One day it's beautiful. The next day you go out and it's misty and wet and it's like <laughs> I'm ready for some bright sunny days listening to the birds and watching the butterflies and the bees the flowers blooming I don't know there's something about flowers blooming that make me really happy they may not serve any function other than their beauty um, and to pollinate, uh, you know, give nectar to our critters, but for the, otherwise it's really no food value or anything out of them. But I love watching them bloom. Ah, there you go, Sherry. He wants them. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a beautiful lake. Oh, nice. <laughs> You'll mop up with all your mop my mop ups. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. So we got those ready. Um, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum. I think I'm going to put just kind of put this right here in the corner. I don't know. Just add something different here. Jason says he needs to get his camera out and take pictures. <laughs> yeah, the weather is going to be great for that. I, you know, getting outside and checking it out. All right, I think let's put this crown on this page. It just seems like that should be there. Beautiful resort. Oh, nice.
Well, we had some th thunderstorms that came through last night. One of my friends posted that they had a bunch of hail. We didn't have any here that I know of, um, but she sure did, and it doesn't look pretty. That's for sure. Let's stamp on this again. I got the butterfly out because I was uh, playing with it on my gel print, so let's just stamp it on the page. Free, yeah, it's you're cold up there where you are, Robin. Uh, ruffle many feathers. Oh, my nose is now itching. A butterfly. All right, and there's my feather. So let's use the feather over here. Yeah. Um. Let's see. You know, I think we need to do the saying again. What now? Something pleasant to look at. Yay! You have stay vacations? <laughs> oh, cool. Let's put this uh, fine feathered friends. Yeah, okay. Let's put... We've got some pockets there. We don't have a pocket here. I think what I want to do is make a belly band for that peacock. So I've got some scrapbook paper here. I'm going to cut it at eight and a half inches because that's how tall my journal is if I can read the I got this new paper cutter and I don't like it because I can't see I can't see the numbers can y'all see that I even tried putting an ink pad over it it's pain in the rear <laughs> All right, I think what I want to do is I don't want it completely as wide as that so I'm going to fold over the edges and someone said I needed to use some lace and I see something here I think maybe we'll do this I've got some trim here that was given to me by Safra of dust fairies in fact I've got a video another video I've got to edit um, that I'll be posting the next couple of days. She sent me a whole package of beautiful silks and embellished um, uh, pieces, you know, like this piece here. Uh, just a bunch of beautiful pieces. And so I grabbed a few to see if I could find a place for them in the journal. I'm just gluing this edge over just so it'll be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my wonderful <laughs> use the lace so I'm going to use this so I'm going to yeah so a peacock on the belly band yeah so we're going to put that like this I think I want to sp uh, spray this piece though first oh we'll spray it with the peacock yeah, that'll look good, don't you think? Okay, so do I want to go purple? And let's do a little bit of this darker blue. And a touch of pink. Let's mop this up. Oh, look, another mop-up page. <laughs> to stamp on fabric you know whatever works honestly um if it's for permanency there's a couple of permanent ink that you can get and i guess i don't need that i need this um you know it just kind of depends on what you're wanting to do if you're wanting to wash things or just stamp on it i've used even the archival ink just to stamp on things um, it's better if you have like a misty 
so that it um, is easier to stamp in the same spot. You have to take a shot every time you <laughs> say peacock. Oh my goodness, that's not good. <laughs> Barbara Oliver, you're the winner! I love that. I went in and changed that a little bit. Uh, Jason had written the code for the event, if you will, that y'all are playing. And I went in and modified a, a saying or two in it because I thought it was funnier with the glitter <laughs> settles <laughs> or wherever it says. All right. So I'm just going to put some distress ink around the edges of this piece that we just sprayed. You let her win. That's right. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this piece. I think, I think, I think. Down the side here. And then this would go on top. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we'll change the uh, sewing cam. All right, so we're going to put this in here, kind of in the center. And I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. Did I get the camera back? <laughs> you can kind of see, right? It's not some, you know, secretive thing I'm doing. I'm over here sewing with a regular sewing machine and regular sewing needle. Been using it for a long time. It doesn't have any problems. See there? All right. Hi, the pecan de beauty. So glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're going to put that across here like so so I'm gonna put glue at the top here and glue at the bottom for this belly band to fit on the page sewing cam alert yeah stays on is a good ink yep Y'all like the sewing cam? <laughs> you won, Barbara! <laughs> yeah, I'm all dressed up in peacock colors. I got my nails done. I got a peacock color shirt on. <laughs> and then we'll put that right here. How's that? Okay. Now I'm dropping things again. Blech. Things fall down. Okay. Let's put that right there. Uh. I like doing sewing in the journals if I can. What brand of machine do I have? I have a brother sewing machine. It's uh, probably one that you would spend around... Um, Six hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't get my peacock over far enough. I'm gonna have to add more glue. Um, but I got it on sale for four hundred and fifty, and I've had it for several years, and I really like it. It's a good sewing machine. There we go. <laughs> no one is walking away sober. Jeez, Jason. Come on. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, thank you so much. Linda strutting her stuff. <laughs> How many times do you want me to say peacock, Jason? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I think this will good cute right there. Fine feather friend. And let's put one of these on here. Don't you think that'll look kind of cute right there? 
Oh, thank you, Cindy Morgan. Thank you, Sandy M. Uh, for your for subscribing and Cindy for your donation. Uh, oh. oh, you know what? That's an old one. I don't know if she still has the sale or not. You might check. <laughs> I think that's an old one. I need to fix that. Where is that quote? No, it's not in quotes. It's on timers. And I need to go to this one and edit. All right, I'm fixing that so it won't say that because I don't think she still has a sale going and I forgot to, uh, to do that. <laughs> so please don't go ask her. <laughs> All righty. We're getting closer to getting this done. I think this is going to go on that page. Yeah, that'll look good there. All right, and... I think we need a pocket right on the inside cover. So I'm going to use this other gel print corner. I want to make more gel prints. They're so fun. So much fun. Better than... <laughs> I use a Lean's. Uh, you know, I forgot what Henry was wearing today. I was so busy working on my computer. I think he's wearing black. Black and red. You know, um, Julie, you can use Aline's Tacky Glue. You just have to let it dry. You could also use uh, the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. You put down a bead of glue, let it air dry until it's clear, and then put the lace in it, and it will stick down. So those are a couple of ways that you can uh, do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way, though. So we're going to put some Distress Ink on it. Oh, Christy, I'm sorry. It's probably your internet connection. It might be where you're located. I'm sorry you're having issues. I hope it starts working again. All right, I think I'm going to put that right there. Thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Did I say thank you to Cindy, too? Thank you. All right, we're getting closer to the end, I think, of this. Do you want me to draw the raffle winner for the... Um, gel prints because I can do that here in a moment. I think we want to put that right there in the corner. We think I like that. I like the layers. It's a black box. It's a it's a boo boo at the moment. I'm gonna see if I can't um where is it? Is that it? There we go. I got rid of it. Ha <laughs> ha. Chase is going to be like, what in the world did you do? And I'm like, I just turned it on. I just turned it on. Uh, oh, look, we've got. All right. Now washi tape. I think that would look kind of pretty off the top of there. So let's glue this guy down. Burgundy. Is he wearing burgundy? I couldn't remember if he was wearing red or if he was wearing uh, black and uh, burgundy. <laughs> you like that? I'm so. Linda is so proud for working it out. <laughs> Jason says, don't worry, I'll bill your face off. Thanks a lot! <laughs> oh, dear. 
All right, if you want a chance to win this journal, make any donation that you so want in the Super Chat. And here in just a few minutes, I'm going to open the raffle for those who donated and only those who donated. And one of you are going to win this journal that I am creating right here in front of you. I hope you've got some uh, cool ideas out of what I've done. You like the gel print? You couldn't get yours to turn out? I'm going to make one um, as soon as I've tagged this. Thank you so much, Christy. Oh, you got the mini you won today. Yay, Mariana. I like burgundy too. Burgundy and gold, yeah, for sure. Hey, Barbara, so glad you're back. So we'll put that right there. Let's make a pen. So I got a pen. Uh, I mean, a piece of paper. That's a piece of paper, y'all. <laughs> and a paper clip. And now I'm getting a pen. I just got a cheap pen. Uh, they were on sale for $2.90 for a dozen at Staples. So I thought, well, that's way cheaper than trying to buy the inserts, which were several dollars each. So I'm just buying the pen. And sorry, I'm throwing it away. Okay. All right. So now I got a piece of paper here. It's glitter paper. It's one and a quarter inches wide. <laughs> I understand. Thank you so much, Naomi. You're good. Th save your money. Yep. <laughs> save your money. Um, so I'm going to fold this in half. It's one and a quarter inches wide by 12 inches. And it's sparkly. That's why I picked it. We needed some glitter. Yeah, you never know what the world's going to throw at you. That is for sure. All right, so what did I do with my... Um... Dang it. I had my X-Acto knife, and I used it today. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put that right where I can see it. So I can use it later, and now it's disappeared. <laughs> I mean, dang it. <laughs> All right. Well, normally I would just um, cut this with an, a craft knife that I can't find. So I'm just going to be really careful and kind of cut a notch out of there. Okay. So I just got a little notch there. All right. And then. You can use a score tape, um, double-sided tape, uh, carpet tape, whatever you can get a hold of. And what we're going to do is going to run tape down the center and down the sides. This width of my paper was determined because of the barrel size of the pen so that it would cover it. And then I put a little extra down here because we're going to cut this at an angle. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that this is open. I'm going to grab my paper clip and poke it in from the back. Oops. I'm going to do it the right way. Okay. I want mine to stick up just a little bit because I'm going to put some tassels or yarn on here. So I'm just kind of pushing it down just a little bit pass there. I'm going to put some tape on this side of the paper clip to help hold it in place. You can also use E6000. Okay. <laughs> you needed it, so that's where it went. Thanks a lot. <sighs> oh, God damn it. I just was looking at the chat and I wasn't paying attention and I didn't get my pen. <laughs> this is some strong tape. Ha! I got it. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> All right. Put the pen. And sometimes you may want a longer piece of paper here. Uh, so you'll want to put your pen in to where it doesn't interfere with your paper clip is actually better. 
Um, so a 12 inch piece of paper works better, but you can do it with an 11 inch. Um, I showed that in my other tutorial. All right, so now I'm going to squeeze this around and pinch this together. Yeah, it is a dying skill, Naomi, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's not just me. Yeah, that tape dispenser is huge. That's called an ATG uh, advanced tape gun glider. And it has, I don't remember how many yards. 36 yards of a spool is on here. And I have a bunch of refills because I had a coupon one day and you could get so many for hardly anything. I don't use tape very often because it's so expensive. All right, so I'm just smashing this around the pen. Okay, there's my paper clip side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off down here at the bottom. And it's not perfectly centered, but you know, it's handmade, y'all. So I'll go in here and cut this side off. Yeah, the, the Scotch brand is larger. Wait, the pen, the pen. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanna. I didn't see it soon enough. <laughs> That's funny, Barbara. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it goes fast. It goes super fast. I just don't use it that often. All right, so I'm just going to go in here and trim off where it goofed up on me. Okay, it's no big deal. It happens, y'all. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go over the edge real fast with some Distress Ink. I made these um, Saturday for my workshop gals out of a gold glitter, and they loved it. So I thought, well, for the live... I would make a purple one for y'all. And then I think what I'm going to do is, I like this. I think that'll be pretty on the top part. And then we'll have some fibers coming off. How's that sound? Okay. <laughs> I don't make mistakes. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm going to put that right here. See that? Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm going to get some more fiber. And let's make a little tassel to put on our um, pen. Yeah, sound good? Maybe? All right, so we're going to get one, two... Come on. Where's the end? There it is. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one that does that. All right. So I'm going to put this right there. I'm going to do it again. And we'll do it one more time. Okay. Now I'm going to put some like this and tie this into a knot. Tie it again. Get another one of these. And we're going to lay this on top. You can do it by holding it in your fingers. But if not, you can put it down on the table. And I'm going to tie off this top part to give it that tassel look. I'll tie a second knot. And then I'll flip it over this way. And then tie it again. And then that way, oops, where's my tail? It's in the wrong spot. I need it. There we go. 
So now I'm going to pull it around to the back side and tie a knot on this side. And that should keep it from slipping apart. All right. You love your journal. All right. You love the fibers. Thank you. I have these for sale in my shop. The little fibers. They're just kind of different. All right. So I'm just going to take this and poke it through the paper clip. Why didn't I use my string? It's so much easier than trying to poke a fuzzy thing through a hole. <laughs> There. Oh, but it is easy, Christy. I mean, all right, there we go. There's our pen with some fibers. And there's some um, beads in the kit. So you could use some thread and hang some beads off of that. All right, I think I've got a few more little things here that we can finish decorating this journal, and y'all can get on with your life. <laughs> All right, so we got the pen, so I'm going to put it right here in the front, and then I'm going to flip through here. There's, this needs a little something, so let's put let's put a little flower here. Your pen looks good. <laughs> we'll stick that up there. I like the way this came out. Okay. We didn't put anything over here yet. I wonder... What is that? What about this bright color? If I cut a piece of this off, because I can use, put just a little piece right there in the middle. <clears throat> Love your pen and your journal. Because <clears throat> Henry is starving, yeah. <laughs> poor guy. Poor, poor guy. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. All right, has everybody entered the raffle for the gel prints? I'm going to draw that winner. Okay, I'll put that there. I think that's what I want to do is a little piece of that. I'm sure it'll be fine, uh, Sandra. I don't know the different <laughs> kinds because I don't use them. But I'm sure it'll be fine if it looks like it, smells like it, acts like it. It probably is the same. I'm going to put that on here. Just a bright pop of color. What do you think? Journal. All right. Um, Y'all ready for me to do the raffle? <coughs> that down here. I couldn't see that. But we'll make this a little tuck spot in case we find something. Maybe I'll put that in here. Yeah? This goes there. Love it! Me too. I'm liking how it's coming together. This Did y'all see this? If y'all are new to the stream. I haven't put it. There's a pocket here too. I haven't put anything in there. That'll be for whoever gets the journal. That way they can put whatever they want. Okay. Let's see if this will fit. It fits! Well, let's put let's put that over here. 
I'm funny today. <laughs> Only today. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> raffle. Get in the raffle. Put that there. I need a journal card for in there. So... Let's do, oh, I got a gel print here. Let's cut that into a strip. You need to make some tassels. Aren't they fun? I don't know. I like doing it. It's just something different. Okay, I want this about an inch. You're welcome. <laughs> Sandra says, do the raffle already. Just stop. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to cut this piece of paper up. And then I'll do the raffle. So you all can have some more of my gel prints. And then we'll start the raffle for the journal. All righty. Raffle baffle, honey. All right, here we go. Giveaway. Pick a winner. Vicki Hampshire. Vicki Hampshire, you are the winner of the gel print and mop up pages. If I don't have your address, please send it to me. You can do so through my website um, at lindaisrael.com, and I'll share that in just a moment. Or you can do it on my Facebook page. So congratulations on that. Yeah, you won! So I'm going to type that in so you can go to my uh, website. Or you can go to my Facebook. And make sure I have your mailing address, okay? Alright, so the following people have donated and are eligible for... For the raffle of the journal. If you would like to have a chance to win this journal, then make any donation that you so fit to make uh, before I say the raffle is closed and I'm going to draw. So these people have already um, put in their money and I am going to reset and I'm going to read off everybody's name for the Royal, let's see, Royal Peacock Journal. All right, so these people are the only ones that can enter, and that are Sandra L., Kathy Lake, Slogan413, Sandy Wallace, Pink Robin, Suzanne Sandridge, Barbara Oliver, Christy Ivelbell Johnson, Robin Stapp, Regina Francois, Robin Finnessy, Let's see, Karen Owens, Mariana and Calico Collage, Rita Gibson, Janice Brammer, uh, DDB, and Pam Emmons, and Vicky, Deborah Vick, sorry, Deborah Vick, <laughs> Catherine Hawkins, The Luke Feline Family, Robin Stapp, Sherry Deskins, Christy Ivabel Johnson. So, if I didn't call your name and you want to be in on the raffle make a donation and everybody else congratulations and good luck I'm going to get something to drink that was a lot of names <laughs> uh oh mama's had been in too much chocolate tonight <laughs> I need some chocolate. I haven't had any in a while. That will be Sherry's Royal Peacock. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, ja Austin. You missed it. Thank you, Deborah. I didn't try to pound out your last name. No, Mariana. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make some journal cards. So what I've done is I cut some gel print into strips. I've got some four by six cards that were just in my stash. Um, you know, another thing to do is just every once in a while, grab those scraps of paper that you have and cut them down 
to be journal cards. They could be four by six. They could be three by five. They could be two and a half by three and a half. Um, and then that way you have little things you can just grab. I know um, Rachel, one of the admins of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, she likes to keep little scraps in a bin beside her and, and use this from there. Sandra Louise, yes, yes, you are in, Sandra, and Cindy Morgan, sorry, I probably said your name first, hurry before Robin steals your journal and pen, <laughs> okay, we put a journal card there, we've got this tag there, so let me grab, we need fibers, we gotta have fibers, I can't have naked tags going out, Right? All right. Where'd my little string go? That's not it. There it is. I gotta have my little string. <laughs> you love those jellies? Thank you. I love doing gel prints. They're just so fun. And I like that it's my art and I'm able to add it and put a little touch of me. Um, that's a little bit more personal than, you know, just folding something or cutting something. But, you know, it, it, it's not to say that it's um, not good to not put a little bit of yourself in there. We all do. I think when we make a journal, we fall in love with something and get busy creating the, with that something. And, you know, before we know it, we've made this beautiful thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got to hurry. My tummy's rumbling, too. I'm trying. I'm talking. <laughs> oh, dear. Y'all tired of my stories? Okay. Let's put something on this side. I'm trying to find all the little pieces. I think we'll just put that right across the top there. like so and then this gel print journal card should fit under there and I think I want to put this piece just so we have a kind of a consistent thing all right so everybody entered into the raffle that wants a chance to win this journal as I am just about done embellishing it and then I will draw for a winner we put that on there Hercules is with me he's at my feet you all can make beautiful journals chocolate is my friend uh. All right, join us at Felique's for supper. What's what's Felique making today? She got some yummy, yummy, yummies. I think I'm gonna put this crown over here. Grow your own channel. Obviously, keep making videos, but I'm not just feeling like I can innovate in junk journals. Lots have already been done. You know, sometimes, Austin, you look at it as a different perspective as a man creating a junk journal. And you play up on that fact because you're not going to make all your journals super feminine. So there, you can come out at that aspect that I'm a guy in the junk journal world and this is what I like. So that's what I would say is do your own thing and you'll see that people will like it and will come follow you. Okay. Does that answer your question? <laughs> and, you know, the best way to grow your channel, um, honestly, I... When I first, very, very, very first started, I talked to a lot of people. I would leave messages on other YouTube channels. Anytime I saw a post on social media that was anything related to what I did, I would comment. 
I would say, good job, love what you did, that's fabulous. And then people started to recognize my name, and when I started sharing tutorials, I'm still doing the same thing. Great job, love what you're doing, and people respond to that. It's time consuming, but you have to, if that's what you want your goal to be, is to be involved with this community, um, you have to you have to put in the work, and that's honestly it. You just have to put in the work. All right. Twirls tassel on the pin. Need to do a shabby chic journal. That may be later on. We've got the next two wrapped up, I think. We're still having fun. Na uh, Naomi says so we're having fun. And Austin said we were having fun, I thought. They're having a good time. Put this right there. I don't have any bits or pieces left over, so I think we're at the point that I can raffle this bad boy off. Did you get entered into the raffle that wanted a chance to win? If you haven't, get in the raffle. I see that Calico Collage did. Yep, yep. Oh, thank you so much, Slogan. Thank you. You know, it doesn't hurt to be kind to other people. I don't get that. Um, yeah, there's people out there that do better things than me, and maybe I do things better than them. I'm not jealous. I'm I'm happy to say I'm part of this community, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm about promoting other people and saying, hey, shout outs to them and good job. I like what you're you're doing and and good keep it up because it encourages all of us. If we are rude and obnoxious to each other, that starts to come out in the community because people are like, Well, if these people are always going to be rude to me. Why should I create? And if you're not creating and sharing, then other people aren't going to be inspired by what you create and share. So why be rude to each other and make everybody feel like crap when, you know, it just doesn't hurt to be nice. <laughs> Calico has a cat journal. Um, I'll tell you what, when I do my in-between uh, my subscription box stuff, I'll do one of the cat journals, okay? <laughs> you, the paper on that pen is so beautiful. You like that with that glitter? I do too. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have any pieces left over. I'm looking around here. I don't see any uh, bits because I usually forget something. And this time I didn't have any leftovers. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to pick the winner. Ah, oh, hail the cat, Sandra L. said. <laughs> Thank you, Norella. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, uh, Margie. Thank you, Giovanna. Yeah, keep, keep going. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to pick the winner of the raffle. Is everybody in? You have three cats. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Me, me, me. Thank you, Sandra. Well, if we all can just do that, imagine how much better of a world we'd have. Just be kind. All right, I'm going to start the raffle. <laughs> Junkie Joe gets on you if you use those periods to go together. <laughs> oh yeah, I never fixed that. That's it. <laughs> Junkie Joe doesn't spell very well. He's just a robot. <laughs> uh, all right, pick me, pick me. Raffle. Are you entered into the raffle? If you donated, enter the raffle. All right, so I'm going to flip through this, and when I say, let's int let's draw, we can do that. Robin says, no, it's my turn. Yes, we need more people to follow the golden rule. So I made a pen, Norella, 
this was a 12 inch strip of glitter paper that's one and a quarter inches wide and I put the paper clip in it and made a tassel yeah uh, Austin if you want to send me a small journal that I can raffle off I can do that as well oh you're very welcome Mary you're very welcome, Christy. Thank you, Sandra. Do a rusty robot steampunk journal, Les says. <laughs> Junkie Joe has a draw like Linda. <laughs> you like that? All right. Are y'all ready for me to draw? Yeah, you'll have to do some tutorials on those. That's for sure, Naomi. I'm not scared of Junkie Joe. You like the pen and paper idea? See, I think we could do some, um, I'm talking out loud now, uh, do some strips in the kits that are designed to be about six inches long and what would that be, uh, two and a half inches wide so that you could just score it down the side and make that a pen holder. That's an idea I was thinking about. I don't know. What do y'all think of that? <laughs> you like the journal? Thank you so much. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I agree. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you, Karen. Draw. Robin says draw. Yep, I agree, Christy. Yeah, go watch that. You'll like it, Regina. All right. Who wants me to draw? I saw two draws. I don't know. It might be something to play with. You're welcome, T. Lily. You got to use the ladies' room. Hurry up. <laughs> this flips out. Did y'all remember this? I got a video coming showing you how to do that. Uh, you, your camper said I was red, really southern with my draw. That's funny because you're from the UK, are you not? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm dropping stuff. You're very welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to do the giveaway and we're going to pick a winner. Pick a winner. I'm giving, there's a delay, about 20 seconds. <laughs> pick a winner. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Christy. Karen says, draw. Pretty please. Do you make journal to sell anymore? Or has it all come back to this on the channel? Yeah, it's been... Naomi, I haven't had time to make a journal just because. Marie Duncan. Make sure you donated. Because I don't remember your name. Marie Duncan. Marie entered the drawing, and I do not see her name in the um, uh, I don't see Marie's name in the donator. So Marie, did you want to win this journal? Because I don't see a donation from you unless you're doing it under an alias. Are you still here? Because you can only win it if you were donated. Ah, okay. So you're not going to get it. Sorry, Marie. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're not winning it. So I'm going to pick another winner. Oh, yeah. Printable bookmark digital peacock feathers. Very pretty. Maybe you can use as a pins. Yeah, that would be really cool. Okay, I'm going to pick the, a new winner. <laughs> You have to have donated. So pick the winner. And I believe I remember seeing Janice's name. So let me look. Janice Brammer, she donated. You are the winner of the journal. And I think I have your mailing address. If not, will you message me, Janice? Are you still here? Yay, Janice! Message me here. 
<laughs> you didn't ruin it this time. Nope, you didn't, Leslie. Thank you. Or you can message me on my Facebook. So congratulations! Congratulations! You like your journal, Janice? So Thursday, I will be using the add-on kit to make the journal. So you'll see what it's like to use the add-on pages, which are $14.99. Congrats for real this time! <laughs> but sorry you didn't win earlier, but keep watching my lives and you can win uh, lots of free prizes. And then if you donate, you get a chance to win the journal that I made. Valique, she didn't win. Margie, thank you so much for your donations. I really appreciate your support. And you need to win. <laughs> you haven't won in a while. And this journal is unique because the cover is different. Yeah, there is a digital. You don't get this. You get the digital kit, which looks like... Let me find my papers. I've moved stuff. So we've got a planner kit. And we have the printed kit. So I'm going to get those out for you. And I'll flip through it since you're here. So this is the kit that you can also get it as digital. Okay. So when I'm showing you this, you get the same thing in digital. It's $14.99 for the printed. And if you buy the subscription box, it's $10.99 for the digital download. If you are a virtual subscriber, it's $14.99 for the digital download because you're not getting the other box. This is what the cover looks like for the printed. So when you get the digital, you can change it any way you like. And here's the next one. This is the Fussy Cut Pages. There's six of those. You see that? Next one. Next one. Next one. And then these are the pages. You get seven pages. And you get this through my shop at lindaisrael.com. If you hit sub box right now, um, exclamation point sub box, I think it is. This is one of the pages. That's one of the pages. Bye, Robin. And then there's an add on planner kit. So you can get it as printed or you can get it. Um, thank you, Giovanna. Or you can get it. Um, digitally and it's not washed out that's just the lighting here so this that was all the stuff that I just showed you that's the add-on pages I just showed them <laughs> and then this is the planner kit yeah you're just all of this you can get digitally that I just showed okay thank you Janice all of this that I just showed, you can get as print or you can get as um, uh, digital. And these are the add-ons. So if you were to buy the subscription box, you would get this finished journal. And if you want, you can add the digital or the printed or both. Got it? Okay. Okay, and then there's also a mini journal. Now, we didn't make this a digital because you could just take the digital images and shrink them on your screen. But we decided for those that wanted printed ones, it would be cute. So you get two covers and you get four journal pages in the mini. And I just think they're super cute. So I'll be working out of this kit that I just showed y'all Thursday. Okay. Yeah, they really did. I, I agree. Thank you so much, Lori. Thanks for being here. All right. Well, it's time for my dinner. You're very welcome, Karen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, donating, clicking, hi, you know, saying hi to everybody, tatting, um, all of the above. <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. I think I'm done, unless y'all have any more questions. Um, thank you, Mariana. Thank you. All righty, I think I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a fabulous night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, an inkjet won't print shiny. Hey, Naomi, you have 2,000 junk box. Yay! Good night, Mariana. You will, Barbara. Keep it up. Check, keep saving your junk bucks. Food, not all. Me too. I gotta get something to eat. All right, Henry, you can come home now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, how to put the calendar pages together? Yeah, I can. What I'll do Thursday is I'll use some of the calendar pages. And basically, the only one that I feel you really have to um, think about in the planner is this is the whole month. So wherever you put this, you're not going to be able to see the whole month unless you put it in the center of your planner page so that you can open that full spread. Or if you do something where we tip it in, remember how I attach that other page and you go like this and then you can pull it out like that. You could also fold this in half and trim it just a little bit and make it a pull out tag. So... There's some ideas. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll, Naomi, I'll take a look at it and get it updated for you. I think it doesn't do it until your payment. Um. Oh. Naomi, message me afterwards, okay? And let's see, anybody else? Thank you so much, Sandra. I think so. I think Norella does an amazing job as well. Alrighty. Alright, well, I'm going to get off here. There's not any more questions. Okay, there it is. Alrighty, y'all have a good one. Bye. Thank you for being here. Okay. Oh, got a question. Go ahead, Christy. Go ahead. Go ahead, Christy. What's your question, lady? Okay, so you want to put a full three calendars in one journal. So you wanting a multi-spine journal? So you'll have one, two, three, and you'll be able to open it up and there'll be basically books like this. One, two, three, together. That's one suggestion that I have. And you just put it right in the center. That makes them thinner. And you could also make them as a traveler's notebook so you can pull them out. I tend to like the thinner journals personally. Hercules is good. He's ready. <laughs> Okay, so you want the subscription box and the digital and the stencil. Okay, yeah, the stencil will come, no printed. You don't want additional. You just want the digital download. We can do that, Christy. Um, send me a message on my Facebook or on the website, and I will get that updated for you. <clears throat> okay. Hercules is good. Thank you, Christy. Perfect. Perfect. That way I can go in and look at it. First, I'm going to eat some dinner. <laughs> All righty. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye. Uh, thank you. We've got too many Christies. we got Christy uh, or Karma and Christy Evelbell. Thank you. Have a fun, Sandra. Have fun. Ooh.
Woo! All right, I'm going to hit the button. I'm going up here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to say bye. Have a good day. See you Thursday. Bye.